Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Uh, there's our runway. Come on. Uh, uh. Oh, is he going to survive? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that is so satisfying looking. Wait. Oh. <laughs>《Moto Gaming》here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs. And today, Mr. Survival Bob is back, and he's probably more frightened than ever because today we are finally doing it. We are finally gonna attempt airplane survival. Now, you guys have been asking for this for a long time, and I pretty much think it's impossible. I do not believe that Bob will survive pretty much any plane crash. Now, I could be completely wrong about that, but we do have some creations here to test out. Uh, we're going to start off here with the Mayday Air Airplane by Lizard. Uh, we're going to go read the instructions on this bad boy real quick because supposedly this is actually a pretty realistic plane for, uh, for brick rigs here. So we're going to attempt that here today. I will have the workshops linked down in the description if you want to download any of the items you see in today's episode. And if you are enjoying Brick Rigs on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And comment below with suggestions for future survival challenges. Oh boy, Dob, today is going to hurt very, very bad. Uh, I don't know why we're attempting this. All right, let's go to the uh, workshop real quick. We're going to read the instructions because this is a sophisticated plane. Okay, so we have several planes here today, but we're going to start off with the Mayday Air. This is by Lizard. I think I'm saying it right, or it's Lizard. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I always say names wrong. I'm terrible with names. But anyways, uh, this one has spinning turbine engines. It's fully modeled uh, flaps. Uh, it gives a whole basically checklist of kind of how you need to spawn this thing, how it needs to take off, and how it flies. And... Yeah, this uh, is a pretty realistic plane. It's got wing flex. It's just, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. I think we should just jump right into it and try to uh, try to at least get it off the ground. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, this thing's back landing gears. Uh, yeah, they're a little in the ground. I don't know if that's just a feature, a part of Mayday Air, because that's kind of a, you would say it's a little bit of an odd name, right, Dob? Yeah, sure. All right, so uh, we're gonna get in the plane. You know, Dob, you can't, uh, you can't actually get in the plane. You're probably going to ride on top of it. Okay, so I've got the plane in God mode right now, and we're going to put it down. He said put the parking brake on and let the plane stabilize. I don't know why those landing gears, like, we're not going anywhere with those landing gears down like that. Uh, let's go ahead and just stick. I don't know if this is going to affect the plane or not. All right. Oh, yep, just hang on there, Dob. It's going to be fine. Alright, so we're going to attempt our first takeoff out of God mode, just to see if this works. Uh, also, I think it's already fallen apart. Okay, alright, it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is great, we left half the plane. Okay, just power it up. Yeah, there's something janky going on with the, the back landing gear. I might need to God mode this thing on takeoff. And Oh yeah, the back of the plane, that's supposed to happen, right? Oh, jeez! <laughs> Wait, we're not in God mode, are we? Hold on. Aircraft survival. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, that is actually really, really strong. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I just died as soon as I popped out of it. Oh, and yep. Oh, I don't know actually what's happening. Oh, let's check myself real quick. Okay, no, I'm not in God mode. What happened there? Uh, I don't really... I don't understand. Uh, where did Dob go? I'm pretty sure he flew off into outer space. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so the plane is in God mode right now. That way we can try to take off, because I think whatever's going on there at that back landing gear, it's really affecting it, so here we go. Okay, so it says it needs about a uh, 100 kilometers per hour for the takeoff. Uh, we're at 50, uh, 70, 80... Let's go 90, 100. Okay, let's start to lift. Let's try not to hit the tail on the ground. Come on. What is the tail doing? What is the tail? Wait, the tail just folded down. What? Whoa, what the heck? Okay, let's go out of God mode. Now, this is perfectly fine. The tail's supposed to do that. It's, it's flexing. <laughs> you know, there's a good chance that we might need to spawn this in air. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this take off. For some reason, the tail just completely folded down. I'm gonna go through and read the instructions one more time, but it didn't say anything about the tail doing that. And up oh, there goes the, uh, there goes the cockpit. And up oh, there goes the rest of the plane. It's just kind of grinding itself into the ground right now. Oh, I think it's shutting off. Oh boy. Up, oh, yep, yeah, that's. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Perfect. Uh, did Bob survive that? Nope, Bob definitely died on takeoff. Okay, we're gonna try something a bit different here. We're gonna try to actually take it off from way up here. So if we go, we're gonna go really high here. Okay, oh, the camera, I need to put it in like local or something. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're pulling up. Okay, so it does pull up. Let me see if we can work those flaps real quick. There we go. Okay, so the end flaps are working. Wow, okay, there it goes. All right, it's just taking off is just a little bit of an issue with this thing. And I don't think it's really a creation issue. It seems to be like some sort of weird physics thing where the uh, the back landing gear, it's like there's no collision with them. All right, this is perfectly fine. I mean, we're driving like we're drunk, but this is perfectly fine. Hold on, let's, uh, can we stick those landing gear up? Okay, here goes landing gear. Gotta get max aerodynamics. Oh, this is great. Okay, so question is, can Bob survive an impact on the ground? Maybe we're gonna come in for a crash landing. Let's see if we can uh, swoop this thing around to the airport. And we're gonna attempt an emergency landing. The landing gear will not come down. All uh, right, since Bob's a terrible pilot, we're coming around at about the worst angle possible to the runway. Oh, we need to pull up here. Come on. Okay, there's a runway somewhere around here. Uh, come on keep up okay we're about half a tank of fuel we'll have plenty of fuel to make it down we probably don't want fuel aboard when this uh when this falls down here uh oh there's the runway uh oh okay expert landing here uh oh, let's get the hud off there we go uh there's our runway come on uh, uh. oh is he gonna survive uh oh 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 that is so satisfying looking wait oh <laughs> Okay, no to self. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say you don't want to be at the back of the plane, and apparently the front of the plane's not very safe either. That thing looks amazing when it blows up. Uh, one thing I have noticed about Lizard's creations, he's created a, a couple buildings. He actually, I believe, created a uh, Ragdoll Rob, and a lot of his creations are made with a lot of bricks, and it's just the little details, the extra destruction that you have here that's so satisfying to see. Now look at, wait. Did Bob survive? Hold on, let's go out of this. Okay, let's hop out. I'm gonna hit E here. Actually, I think he's gonna fly out. Let's see if we can get him out safely. Okay, E. He survived that. What the heck? I mean, the plane is in absolutely terrible shape, but we survived that. You know, that was almost a, I wouldn't say it was a decent landing, but that was almost a landing, a emergency landing, uh, until the plane blew up and everybody died, except for Bob. But Bob's a man. Okay, guys, we're gonna try the impossible landing challenge. I'm gonna land on one of the streets in the city. And I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work. Uh, but we're gonna try it. Okay, here we go. Taking off from air. Alright, Bob is not in god mode. So, my... I'm aiming for that dirt road. It's kinda... I guess you guys can somewhat see it. I'm gonna try to land up on that one. So, we're at a decent angle. I wouldn't say decent angle. I would say we're at a decent heading for it. <laughs> Our angle is terrible right now. Uh-oh. Why are we sideways? Why are we side... This is not how this is supposed to work. This is not how you fly a plane, Bob. Uh, maybe I should have adjusted the flaps. This thing's gonna break itself apart. Uh, you know what? I know it changes the physics. I guess we might as well watch one in slow-mo before we try to land in the city here. Uh, oh, wow. On. Oh, boy. Slow mo. Oh! Oh! Wait, did it save the plane? It might have saved the plane there. Yeah, it didn't blow up because of the slow mo, because uh, I guess the effect it has on the physics, it really softens the blow, I guess. Uh, are we gonna at least get an explosion here? Come on. Come on, you know you want to explode. I'm gonna try to rock it and get it to explode here. I wonder if Bob will survive this one. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was cool. That was still cool in slow-mo. All right, 
You know, I think this thing was built in sections. Look at the rings here. Huh. Uh, where did Bob end up? Okay, Bob's in the cockpit, which I believe is on fire. Will he survive? He got flung a really, really far away. There he goes. And let's soften his blow for him. Oh, he's going to burn alive in there. Never mind. Uh, uh, that. Okay, no, we're fine. Perfectly fine. No, it's good. It's good, Bob. You good? Bob's good. He still has a smile on his face. I tell you guys, this thing's extremely fun to fly now. This is actually really, really fun. Okay, so we're going to start actually backing off the jets this time. We're going to come in. There we go. Okay, starting to soften it here. There we go. We're gliding now. We're using the game's aerodynamics. Uh, do I have the... Okay, on. There we go. Okay, see if we can get those flaps up. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Oh, we're gliding. We're coming in a lot slower this time. Uh-oh, we are off course. Okay, we're going for the alleyway. Go for the alleyway. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Come on. Oh. No! <laughs> I thought we did it that time. I thought we were actually going to do it without exploding. Actually, did Bob survive that? Oh. <gasps> He survived! He su he looks traumatized, but he survived. Hold on, hop out, Bob. <laughs> Away from the plane. Okay, that is actually a, a decent strategy. I think if I would have kept on the jets a little bit longer, I uh, could have tucked the nose up there. The nose kind of dug down at the last moment. It is hard if you don't have any assistance from the jets. That gliding is just so kind of wobbly, and I got off course there. Uh, I managed to hit the alleyway, though, somewhat, so I'm pretty happy about that. Where'd the rest of the plane go? Um, where's the tail section? Okay, how did pieces get way back here? This is great. I love playing with this. All right, here we go. We are a little off course. Let's go. Okay. All right, start to kill those jets a bit. Keep that nose up. Okay, nose is up this time. Okay, now start to slow it down. Oh, we're gonna overshoot. Okay, aim for the street. Aim for the street. Here we go. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh! This is oh, this might be good. Uh oh, 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 we got jammed in the parking garage. Wait, did Bob make it? Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, oops. Uh, we're gonna go. No, Bob probably. Wait, wait. Is that a, a live Bob, or is that... I think that's a dead Bob. Hold on, let's get down. Let's check. Check his pulse. Yep, I see two X's. Bob did not make it. Yeah, that's gonna be really hard to do. Those uh, wings do not give at all, so if they get caught on something, it completely shifted the plane over. Huh. You know, I say we did a decent job with that. It's still a little tough to fly, but that is definitely one of the most satisfying planes I've ever flown in brick rigs. I think it's just because of the sheer size, the way it moves, the flex. Uh, that's uh, really cool stuff there. All right, you know what? Bob's going to change planes here. All right, so we're going to be checking out the Boeing 747. Uh, this one apparently has multiple charges in the tanks in order to simulate multiple different problems. This is made by DDO, I don't even know how to say that, M E R E S E O five O zero thingy. I, I don't know. Uh, let's spawn this in real quick. Oh, this is a big one. Wow, this is a wide plane. Uh, oh. Oh, what are we carrying? Oh, this is a oh, this is a passenger plane. I wasn't sure if this was carrying cargo or what this was. You know, this is actually quite roomy and only 845 bricks. So, there was a, was it a seven key? Yep, that was a seven key that does that. Okay, so, this plane can blow apart. What about the other keys? One, oh, whoa, okay, one blows it apart completely. Uh, that's actually something. Okay, so, one, oh, what does two do? Two, I don't, do they have the same effect, or, I don't wonder if these charges are set in places, say, like, one blows the wing off, one blows something else off. Uh, one blows the middle up. I don't know. Yeah, look, that one blew just the wing up. Three did. Dude, hold on. If this thing actually flies well, you can simulate, like, losing a wing. All right, come on, plane. Stop blowing up, please. No! <laughs> do we have the permanent explosion thingy? Yep, we do. It's blowing up and it won't stop. I'm hitting backspace. Okay, maybe we should put it in god mode. I can't... What the heck is going on here? <laughs> okay, god mode. 
It still blows up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set you out of God mode. Don't explode on me, please. Out of God mode. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, let's take off here. <laughs> Is this thing supposed to fly at all, or um, what happened? I, I hit the gas and it exploded. This looks like something a part of like Jank Airlines. Like, <laughs> we can guarantee you won't get to your destination. You won't even get off the runway. What the heck? Okay, let's start it in air. Let's try that. And yes. No, oh, what the heck? I don't like you're. Uh, I don't like you're meant to fly this. I I now come to that realization that I think this is purely a crash simulation here. So let's stick it here. Let's put it in God mode. So we can. What we can do? Say we're we're going down right now. The the plane's coming back towards the airport. We can go out of God mode, and let's see if uh, Bob will survive this. So we're going to go wing failure in three, two, one, go. All right, so wing has failed. Plane is crashing back to Earth. Oh, it exploded again. Uh, Wait, where's Bob? Oh, Bob's still in the front. Oh, oh. You know, I actually think this is Oh, look at all the seats flying out of it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Bob's going to have much of an issue with this one. Uh, unlike the lizard one didn't really have scalables. Uh, this one's got quite a few, and those scalables are so big that it gives uh, gives Bob a bit of extra cushion, and he's actually quite happy here because he might actually survive and huh, walk out of this one. Wait, what? Uh, okay, on, let's get out from under the map. Yeah, Bob's pretty happy about this. That's a, a pretty cool concept. I don't believe it flies, obviously, because uh, as soon as you hit the gas, it explodes, but if you're wanting to simulate something, that's uh, not a bad option there. Ooh, it's quite toasty over here. Alright, so we have a cargo plane from Grand Theft Auto 5. This is by Victor Manuel. Uh, this is... Yeah, it looks like it actually flies. I'm sure it's scalable bricks. Yes, but... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is... Wow, that is massive. Uh, does the cargo... Ooh, does the cargo door open? It looks like there might be an actuator down there. Hold on, let's go ahead and spawn this real quick. This is 3,400 bricks of pure chaos here. That is actually really good looking. Uh, a lot of scalables, so I don't know how the crashing's gonna be, but man, hold on, can we like open the doors and stuff? Let's try to hit, oh, I think it just opened the back cargo door. Uh, does it have hooks in here? Ooh, I bet you we could drag something. Let's see how it flies real quick. All right, here we go, three, two, one, no. Three, two, one, go. Am I in the, am I in the, oh, okay, there we go. Oh, this isn't powered off of jets? Okay. Uh, this isn't gonna be a fast mover. Now, question is, does it actually fly? Let's go ahead and get up to about 100 kilometers per hour before we start to lift the nose here. Try not to slap the tail down either. Okay, 90. Uh, you know what, we're gonna start to lift the nose here. You know, I actually think this is going to fly. Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful takeoff. That was so smooth looking. Oh, on. I'm trying to move the camera, but I got to get out of alt mode. Hold on, let's there we go. All right. Hold on, let's go to the cockpit view. Woo. It's got a cockpit in it. Hold on, let's just go around. This isn't bad at all. This is actually a really, really stable flyer. Alright, we're going to come down for a crash landing here. We're not carrying a bunch of speed, so this might... I think this is just going to bounce, to be honest with you. Hold on, let's get out a local cam real quick. Alright, it's going to orbital. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh oh, that froze. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, those scalables. They are strong. I think we barely skidded the bottom of this thing off. I don't think we're going to be doing much crash survival. I think our best option for the survival was the uh, the first plane. Now, doesn't mean that we can't have fun with this plane. And I got an idea. How big is the cargo door? Is it enough to fit a car in it? Uh, I would say you can fit a decent sized car in there. Nothing too big. Okay, I'm going to make a slight modification. I normally don't do this to creations, but I, I do feel like this thing needs a couple hooks in the back of it. All right, so I think we're ready to go here. Let's go ahead and open that old door up in the back. And uh, I've got a nuke that we're going to carry into the city. Uh-oh. 
Uh, parking brake, parking brake, Bob. Come on, Bob. Get the parking brake. Uh, come on. There you go. No. All right, parking brake. There we go. All right, so I installed a winch in the back, and I don't know how far I can stretch these things. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and pick up. I got a new Cobra here, and it doesn't have wheels, but I think I can drag it, so... Wow, these things really do go pretty far, don't they? Does that look safe? Okay, that's perfectly safe. All right, I'm gonna jump up into here. I need to start to winch this thing in. Okay, this is a bit awkward whatever way you look at it. So that's, is that extending or? Okay, that should be winching in. Is it, oh, it's doing it. Uh, I don't know if I can make it go up the ramp. You know, I wonder if it's just attached, it'll be good. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't have like little wheels or anything. I guess I could have installed wheels on the nuke. Uh, maybe a driver's seat, but, or not a driver's seat, uh, an engine uh, to make it drive, but. You know, this is perfectly fine. I feel like we'll be able to take off this way. Ah, right, parking brake is off. I hope we can get air before the nuke explodes. All right, here we go. Parking brake off. Whoa, don't explode on us, buddy. No! <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, maybe I should find a nuke with wheels. Oh, we are... Yeah, we're done for it. Yep, back the plane has exploded. It is now veering off the runway. Perfect. Oh, the lag hit there, too. Wow. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, so I got a rocket shotgun truck and nuke. You know, I don't wonder if it would just be smarter just to do this. You know, because Brick Riggs has this uh, teleportation thing that's pretty neat and it works. Uh, <laughs> this does not seem safe. All right, so we got a nuke loaded back up in this bad boy. I think it's time to once again put that parking brake off and let's... uh. Turn them frowns upside down and let's try to get up in the air. Oh, this is going to be bad. Okay, be careful. There's a lot of smoke coming from inside of the plane. Will Bob be able to survive this? Will we even get up in the air is the question. I kind of want to see inside of it, but I kind of don't. Okay, come on. All right. Hey! Hey, this is working. This is... How is this working? Okay. Uh, or can we make the turn with that vehicle inside? There is tons of smoke coming out. I don't see any pieces, like, glitching through, so that means that the truck's in one piece right now? Hold on. Uh, turn. It's a little harder to turn once you have a nuke and a truck inside of your big plane. Okay. We're gonna drop a nuke on the city by dropping it out of a cargo plane. We really need to take a dump right now because this is, uh, uh, this isn't good. Actually, uh-oh. We need to go out of- no. Okay, there goes- there goes the cargo. Oh. Uh. No, I don't think the cargo door is big enough. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh! Oh, that was glorious! Oh, wow! That was cool! Uh, wait, did Bob survive? Actually, I think Bob might be in god mode because of the, uh, old teleport in there. Oh. Huh. Well then, that was actually pretty epic. Um, I was hoping it wasn't going to blow up, but I kind of realized that it wasn't going to get out of the cargo door. We might have to try it again with a bigger cargo plane, or at least a bigger door. That was cool, though. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Brick Rigs. Just strictly planes today, strictly some survival plane crashes. It's just something that you guys have been asking for for a long time. And I always thought it was just impossible because, yeah, those collisions are pretty violent. And Bobs don't like to be shaken sometimes. and They normally die real easily, but that was not bad at all. So if you guys have any suggestions for future survival episodes, comment below. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Brick Rig series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.